So I wanted to do another update on the pickup. Uh, the video I posted a couple days ago was actually from like, as you can tell, months and months ago. Uh, we've been busy with farming and harvest and everything in between. So I haven't really, anytime I got to work on the pickup, I just worked on it and do really any filming. But it's probably 90, 95% done now. Um, finished the flatbed, got that painted. I think I left off and I had the cab painted and, uh, I'm not sure. We had to re-clear it, uh, so we did that. And then I got the bed painted, got the wood installed, or most of the way installed. Uh, the bed's definitely not perfect. Like, the paint's got some blemishes and stuff we're gonna have to fix but it's it'll work for now uh, I got a hitch put on not a big deal but I'll show you inside inside isn't you know it's not quite done but still got I ended up dropping the ashtray cover on the ground so that got chipped and it, it, it like turned out glass smooth the paint looked awesome I dropped it, so that's how that went. But I got to redo that, and then a bug landed, a big old bug landed in the glove box cover because we're painting in a shop, and that's what happens. So that's got to get repainted too. Uh, seats installed, went with Corbo uh, Moab seats. Um, Chevy center console. Um, you know, did a, I ended up, I didn't think I was going to be able to use a stock shifter, but I ended up bending it, or heating it up and bending it, so I got it to work. I threaded the handle, because I don't know, I'm, Ford has those like press on, you know, shifters, and I don't know, I just ran a, uh, a die down it and threaded it, and that's it. Got the dash all installed. That turned out pretty cool. Uh, their speed hut gauges. Pioneer head unit, which I think I might change. It's pretty pretty cheap, but yeah. Uh, behind the seat, I ended up doing all my stereo stuff. I guess that's as far as it goes forward. Uh, all kicker. Two six by nines, and then I don't remember, they're like six inch round in the door. So, four speakers total. I got a four way amp running those, a uh, hideaway sub, which is like an eight inch subwoofer. We have those in our or in, in a tractor, and like it, you know, it gives a little bit more bass, which these six by nines do really well too. And uh, I basically used a uh, not plywood it's like some mdf board i think is what they call it for this and then i wrapped it in some i don't know black carpet from amazon and there's a sound deadening behind there sound deadening in the floor doors um i ended up on the bed Um, did this style for tie downs, which I'm probably not going to end up, I know it sounds stupid, but I'm not going to end up hauling that much, but I don't know. These will work for the time being. They're kind of cool. I, I might end up putting one down the center. The only thing I'm worried about is, you know, as you can tell, dirt and shit will probably end up getting down in there, but basically you just pick these things up and they just press them press them lock them in i don't remember and then they have some heavier duty ones that lock into two of these holes but that way you can tie some stuff down i'll probably end up doing a protec box toolbox on the back or something so i have a little bit more storage because the single cab's not very big 
I got a wire in the tail lights. Oh, well, these are the wheels I went with. Uh, they're nothing real fancy, but they're race line, I think 934, I think is the model number, 934. And they're actually a gray color, which I think they, they look even better in person than in the pictures online, but. I don't know, it needs, it needs a really good cleaning because it's, you know, it's still got a lot of the wet sanding marks and everything like that. Brakes need bled again. They kind of work right now, but four-wheel drive works. Goes up and down the road, low range. Got my shifter in for the transfer case. The door locks, you know, this is the key fob for the the door locks, but they work pretty good. And then if you press this down, it'll actually lock the other side so you don't have to reach across. But AC uh, mounted the, this is, oh, what is it, Vintage Air I think is the brand I went with. Pretty simple, clean install. Everything fit the way it should. You know, it's all tight behind the dash, but I'll get this. This is the engine bay. It's not completely done. I still got wiring to do, a little bit of wiring and some looming. pretty good I got that piece to paint I don't know they whoever had the engine before me did a bunch of powder coating and all the powder coating on all the cast parts ended up just flaking off right away so I don't know I'm gonna have to like sandblast that or do something looks like hell a couple interstate group 27 batteries I don't know if this is the intake I'm going to keep, but I just ordered a filter and did that, you know, stock, that's the stock elbow out of the Dodge. AC dryer. Took a quite a bit of thinking and figuring out to get the AC lines all run because I was not sure how I was going to fit the, uh, is it the condenser? or whatever and it ended up fitting in between the radiator and the intercooler so it worked out pretty good everything fit pretty good and you can see there's a little something in there but if I want it a little more discreet I'll just paint it black or something you'll never be able to tell there's an intercooler in there oh and the bumper as you can see it's a move there that's the brand of it. I wish it didn't say that because it looks a little odd. But uh, they ship it to your door in just a box and you weld it together and all it is is tacked right now. I got a little bit of tweaking to do and then I'll paint it or weld it up and paint it. Yeah, I want to give an update. I'm sorry I didn't get more video of it in the process, but just gonna have to live with it. I went with a uh, oh, uh, Forever Sharp. That's where the steering wheel is. And it made me mad because as soon as I go to order the steering wheel, they had a horn cover that used to say Ford on it and they discontinued it. So if anybody knows where I can find one that says Ford instead of just the plain black one, that'd be awesome. But starts right up got 51 miles on it heater blows warm still got exhaust to do I haven't done that yet
still got quite a bit of wiring. You know, I got wires to tie up. And I didn't go with a cable e-brake because I'm tired of having them break, but that's probably the most reliable. But I ended up putting a line lock in, hydraulic line lock, which probably isn't the most reliable, but at least it's kind of halfway simple. So I got to wire all that stuff in. But yeah, that basically sums it up. I just want to give you guys an update. So any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just leave me a comment and I'll try to get there as soon as I can or answer it at least. Give you some 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 type of answer. Ended up Rhino. I don't know if I told you guys, but I ended up, uh, I guess this is Raptor liner. And that turned out really good on the core support and the inner fender wells. But yeah, let me know if you got any questions. Just wanted to give an update.